Today we're going to make a Node.js Express application powered by a reverse proxy called Nginx and we're going to monitor our server with PM2. So I hope you're ready. It's going to be an interesting ride. The first thing we're going to do is to create a droplet which is a server in DigitalOcean language. So if you don't know about DigitalOcean, it's a server provider in which you can create applications very easily with very cheap price. So once you sign in, you can click on the Create New Droplet button and you'll be greeted with this screen. So go to the One Click Apps tab and then click on Node 4.2.4 on 14.04 Ubuntu server. So this will create a server with Node 4 pre-installed. Next, you need to pick your size. So for this example, we're just going to use a $5 a month droplet. For your region, pick the region closest to you. For me, it's New York. Then we'll leave these things. Here you can name your instance. Let's call it Node. And then you can click on Create. And within 60 seconds, you'll be your, your new server will be created for you and an email will be sent to you with the password to the server. So I've already already did that in the, before this tutorial, so let's just use that and then copy this IP address here. Now open up your console and do ssh root at this address. Say yes. And now you'll be prompted by the password. So for your password, you need to go to your email. Get the email from your. Once you get the password from your email, all you have to do is type in your password, and you should enter your server. Here it is. So the first thing we're going to do um, is to update our password. So you need to write your password and then write a new password for the server. This is a default security measure by DigitalOcean. Now the first thing we need to do is to install nginx to our server. So let's do sudo app get updates to get the latest repositories for Ubuntu. And then after that we're going to install nginx. nginx is a reverse proxy. We can use it to help handle our load on the server. So let's do sudo apt get install nginx. Now this will take a few seconds. So that's done. So you can verify this working by going to this IP address here. And it says welcome to Nginx. This means your installation was successful. So now we have the Nginx installed. We need to go to um, the we need to go to the directory where the server is serving the uh, the files for the for the website. So in Nginx, the default location is located at it's uh, etc. I'm sorry. It's got use user share Nginx, and then if you go there, you'll see a HTML folder. So we're going to override this by creating a new folder called my app. So I don't I want to do it like this. I want to do it via express. So just you just need to know that this location is the default location where nginx is serving the files for the web. So let's get express installed. So before we do express, make sure we have node and npm installed. You can verify that by doing node-v and then npm that's me. So we have Node and NPM installed. So what we need to do is start a new... Um, we, we have to install Express into our server. So let's do NPM install Express. Um, actually, let's make a project. So we'll make a folder called my app. And then inside of my app, we can do npm init to start a new um, package.json file. 
So we'll just call this my app version one zero, and then for the entry point, let's make this app.js, and then leave everything else empty. Now we have a package JSON file. If you do ls, there it is. So let's install Express. You can do that by doing npm install Express. Then we want to save this into our package JSON. So the next thing, there's a really nice uh, project for Express called the Express Generator. We're going to use that too. So here we do npm install Express Generator. We'll install this globally. So this is the other way of doing it. Um, by using Express Generator, you don't have to manually create your package JSON and everything. So I'll show you how it works. Let's go back to the previous directory. So let's remove my app. So you can just use um, Express My App. And this will create other folder for you. So if you do ls, you see a My App folder all created for you automatically with all the scaffolding for these um, these source code files. So now we have Express set up and then we have a Nginx proxy set up. We need to make sure that in Nginx, so if you if you go to the let's um, start our Express app and I'll show you what happened. So Let's go to, so before we want to run our Express app and have Engine, Engine, Nginx serve the Express app. So for that, we need to go to the configuration directory of, of Nginx. So let's go to etc, Nginx, sites available. So in here, you see a file called default. We need to edit this file. This tells us where the server is serving its directory from. So if you look at here, it says root and nginx html folder. So we want to modify this to go to the my app folder, which we created with the node project inside. So just do that and then save this file. And then you need to do sudo service nginx restart. This will restart nginx. And now let's go back to our source project file in usr share nginx my app. Now here it should have the express app installed. So we need to get some um, packages ready. So we need to do npm install. Now this will install all the necessary dependencies that express needs in order to run your application. And now after that, we can just do npm start and you will see that this application is running. So if we go to our server right now and then go to port 3000, you should see it says welcome to Express. Now this is fine, but we don't want the user to always go to port 3000 when they go to our website. Usually they're omitted by port 80, which is a default. So let's find out how to use that um, how to do that in Nginx. So let's go back to our configuration. Let's start the server first. And then we'll go back to our configuration directory. And then let's edit that default file again. Now this time we want to tell Nginx that we want to serve our node app as the default app instead of um, the static files in the my app directory. So we don't have to use three, the port 3000 every time we go to our server. So what we need to do is we need to write a block called upstream node app. And then in here, we tell it the server is 127.0.0.1 port 3000. This tells Nginx to um, to run the no app at port 3000. So when we go to any location on this directory, the server is serving, we just had to do proxy pass http colon slash slash node 
app. So this will make nginx serve the app via port 80. So to check if the nginx config is correct, you can do nginx that's T. Now there's a now this is a good example where the configuration file failed. So we'll have to go back to our configuration file and figure out what's going on. So let's go to the configuration file again. And something about this thing is wrong. Ah, I see there's a extra colon which is really not needed here. So let's go ahead and delete that. And I'll try nginx.t again. And the syntax is OK. So now we just need to restart the server. sudo service nginx restart. And the server successfully started. So now let's go back to our application directory. And then we'll start the Express app again by typing npm start. And now if we go to our server without the colon slash slash, it should say Express. So this is how you make the Node app as the default app on your website. So if you notice that I've been keep on going back and forth and trying to start up my app every time I make a change. This is annoying and this thing is using it as a foreground pr process so I cannot do anything on the terminal while this thing is running. So in order to help fix that we can use a amazing um, thing called PM2 which is a process manager for Node. So let me show you how it works. We just had to go to pm. Uh, we had to install pm2. So let's do npm install pm2 and install that globally. So this will you install the software uh, pm2. What pm2 does is it monitors your application, and you can use pm2 to always have your app restart in case it fails, and it will create a lot of monitoring process and log management for your app so it's really handy. Um, I'll create a video for PM2 in the future but for now let's just use it to start our app. So let's go into our app and then create a JSON file. So let's call this PM2 setting.json. So in this JSON file all we have to do is um, create an object and then here we do apps so actually I have a pre-configured um, script so I'm just gonna copy it over here so to save some time so this will create a configuration file uh, let me just make sure you know what vi is really bad for copy pasting so I'm just gonna do nano so, JSON. so I'll just paste it in here so this thing here will tell us that I want the name of the application I'm monitoring to create my app. And it looks for script for express, you have to do bin and dash www. And then here you can put um, watch parameter. This means whenever files in these folders are changed, we want PM2 to automatically restart the server. And here you can have, see some environment uh, variable information and log errors, log, uh, log information. So let's save this thing. And now we should have PM2 installed. And then we just have to do PM2 start PM2 setting dot JSON. And there it is. You see this app, it's, auto, it's actually running right now. So if I go to the website, it will still work. There it is. 
So PM2 will make sure your application is always online. Even when it errors out, it will try to restart itself. And this tells you how many times it's trying to restart, the uptime, and the memory. And the nice thing about PM2 is it also has a monitor utility. So you could do PM2 monitor, and this will show you how much memory usage it's using. And there's so much more to it, um, but I'm, I'm not going to go over it in this tutorial. So I hope you learned something new today, and I hope this will be helpful for you in order for you to set up your application. And I highly recommend DigitalOcean. If you want to sign up for DigitalOcean, you can use my sign up link, and you'll get $10 off on your usage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.